Let's read the book, Friends at School. This book has the title on the front cover. Friends at School is the name of the book, or we can call it the title of the book. The author of this book is Rochelle Bunnett. In this book, no one drew the pictures. Instead, someone used a real camera to take photographs. The photographs in this book were taken by Matt Brown. Any book that has real photos is probably a non-fiction book. This book is non-fiction. We can also call it expository. When a book is non-fiction or expository, that means that all of the things in the book are true or real. And when we see photographs taken by a real camera, that helps us know that the story is probably expository or nonfiction, meaning it's real or true. What does this look like to you? Have you ever made anything that looks something like this? What did you use to make this kind of art? This is the title page of the book. It tells us the name or title of the story again. Friends at School is the title or name of this book. The book is by Rochelle Bunnett. That means Rochelle is the author and Rochelle wrote the words. The photographs that illustrate this book were taken with a real camera by Matt Brown. We are friends at school. I am Ryan. I am Annie. We are Shane and Parker. I am Chris. I am Shelby. We are Molly and McKenna. And this is Mocha. What kind of animal do you think Mocha is? As we read through this book, I would like you to think about how you are the same as the characters in this book or how you are different from the characters in this book. Mocha is the class pet of these students. Do you have a class pet in your classroom? Try and find the student that you think is most like you from the students in these real photographs. Do you think you're more like Ryan, Annie, Shane, Parker, Chris, Shelby, Molly, or McKenna? Why do you think you're like that person? Maybe you're like Chris and McKenna because you have glasses. Maybe you're like Annie because you have short hair and you're a girl. Maybe you look like Shane today because you have braids in your hair and you're a girl. Maybe you think you look like Ryan because you like to smile. Maybe you think you look like Molly because you have blonde hair or bangs. Which student do you think you look most like? Mocha lives at our school. She loves carrots. It's fun to feed her. Mocha likes company, so we keep her near us when we play. If you have a pet at school or at home, are you allowed to keep it near you when you're playing? Sam and Sarah also live at our school. 
They are African spur tortoises. They eat all kinds of greens. Where in this picture do you see Sarah and Sam? Can you see the small turtle or tortoise that the girl and boy are holding? In the words, it tells us that they like to eat greens. What is one kind of green that you see in this picture that the tortoises or turtles might like to eat? Every day, there are special times when we can take Sam and Sarah out of their terrarium and hold them. There are lots of different things to do at our school. We talk on the telephone. We write letters and draw pictures. Are you allowed to do either one of those things at your school? Is there a telephone that looks like this at your school? Does your teacher ever have you write letters or draw pictures? We play counting games with a friend. Is playing counting games the same as something that you do at your school or different than what you do at your school? Our grocery store is always busy. Ellie and Tyson wait in line while Elliot makes change. Here's Ellie and Tyson waiting in line. What does it mean if Elliot makes change. Have you ever played grocery store before? Luca and Mario talk quietly together. Ellie puts on a puppet show. Molly waits her turn. Molly is such a nice girl to wait so patiently and listen to her friend's puppet show while waiting for her turn. Is this the same or different as what you do at your school? Nico reads a story to Ellie and Dash. Which picture shows Nico reading a story to Ellie and Dash? This is the only picture that has three children, Nico, Ellie, and Dash, and the one in the middle is reading from a book, so it must be this picture. Molly knows lots of songs and teaches them to us. Molly doesn't use a book to tell a story. She just makes one up as she goes along. Molly sounds like a fun girl. Have you ever made up a story to tell other people like Molly does? Maybe you can try that during play centers sometime or at recess. Puzzles are fun. We like to do them on our own, but if a friend helps, that's fun too. Do you do puzzles at your school? Everyone likes playing in the water tub. Look at what's in the tub today. There's blue flubber and whales. Flubber feels cold and gooey when you squeeze it. Some days we put cornmeal or sand in the tub instead of water. Everyone has a job to do at cleanup time. What is this girl doing at cleanup time? What do you think is in her hand underneath the bubbles? Splash and scrub. Chris and Molly wash their hands with warm soapy water at the sink. Are Chris and Molly shoving each other? Are Chris and Molly talking? No, 
no, they're quietly washing their hands at the same time, being very polite to each other. Snack time. We make moo shakes. Here's how we do it. We put strawberries, peeled bananas, one cup of orange juice, and one cup of milk into the blender. Don't forget to put the lid back on the container. Shane presses the button. Vroom. Have you ever used a blender that mixes things together? Chris pours out Pour some for everyone. Mmm, it tastes good. Sometimes we get moustaches from drinking moo shakes. Have you ever had a mustache from drinking milk or a milkshake? Is this something that you get to do at school? Or is it something you could do at home? At our school, we play outside all year round. Here are some of the things we like to do outside. Go fast or slow, forward, backward, high and low on the swings. Does the playground that you use at school have swings? Or do you do something else on the playground? Make mud pies in the sandbox. What are they adding to the sand to turn it into mud? We play on the slide. Ryan hears someone coming down the slide. Who can it be? When Ryan hears someone coming down the slide, does he stand in front of it where he'll get kicked or does he stand to the side to wait patiently? It's Annie. And when Ryan is standing to the side waiting, Annie can come down having fun and Ryan keeps having fun too. We play a circle game together. Has your PE or music teacher or classroom teacher taught you a circle game you can play? Or play with one special friend. Some days it's nice to just play with one friend. Are these things the same or different than what you do at recess? Our school goes on field trips. In fall, we go to Happy Valley Pumpkin Farm. When we get back to school, we scoop out the pumpkin seeds and bake them. Sometimes we go by bus. We visit the fire station. A field trip is when the whole class goes on a bus and goes to the same place together during school. Everyone likes painting on an easel. Is that something that you enjoy? But painting the fence at school is much more fun. Painting on a fence would be fun, but we always have to ask for permission and make sure an adult is with us. School time is over. It's time to go home. Shelby puts on her coat. If Shelby is putting on her coat, which girl is Shelby? Must be this one that's putting on her coat. Mara puts on her boots. This must be a picture of Mara since Mara is putting on her boots. Goodbye, everyone. We hope to see you soon. Today at your school, did you need to wear a coat and boots? If you did not need to wear a coat and boots today, why didn't you need them? If you did need to wear a coat and boots today, why did you need them?
That's the end of our story. Friends at School. The title of the book was here on the front cover. Friends at School. I hope you enjoyed this non-fiction or expository text. It was a true, real story. See you next time.